Thank you to Game Work Create for being a channel partner. Looking for a Kickstarter game you missed or 3D printed minis? Game Work Create has a huge selection available, all at a fair price. Use the link in the description below to check out all that Game Work Create has to offer. What's up Rockstars? Today I'm going to be talking about some really exciting games that are still yet to come. There's going to be some awesome campaigns launching that you can be a part of, that you can help make a reality so that hopefully next year we can actually get it. There's a lot still coming this year, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. As always, a huge shout out to my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their financial support that this channel is possible. I spend thousands of dollars a year to run this channel, whether it's the equipment or buying the product. And that's because I take no money from any game developer so that I can give you my honest critique on the industry and not my wallet's critique. So that you know that if I'm saying something that whether you agree or disagree, you know it's my honest opinion. Hopefully you can appreciate that. If you appreciate the content I make, the hours of content every week that I give you and you can afford a dollar a month, there is a link down below and I greatly appreciate it and you get some cool things there's giveaways there's free uh, items sometimes there's uh, insider looks into this channel and kind of my process I do an audio log each time there's a lot of stuff there you can check out as well and 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 if nothing else just like on the video let me know that uh, I made this and it was useful for you and that you enjoyed the video I hope you do all right let's go and dive right into it Starting things out with one that's coming up, I think, very soon, Masters of the Universe, the board game, Clash for Eternia. This, uh, the board game, Clash for Eternia, this whole, you know, like a semicolon with a dash, because they don't want to do two semicolon titles, is because there are two Masters of the Universe games. There's one by Archon, and there's one by Kaman. Archon's is already launched on GameFound, but uh, it's it's kind of like an area control game, thing, kind of like a Rising Sun-ish kind of thing going on there, if you're familiar with any of those, or Ankh, or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, this one is a one versus many or fully co-op game, but it's kind of in that, uh, in, in that style. So kind of a, a semi dungeon crawl, one versus many is what I'm assuming. They mostly, it's come on, so they mostly advertise with miniature renders. Uh, so that we've gotten a lot of renders, we've gotten snippets of some high level gameplay. Be interesting to see what the actual gameplay is, but we probably won't see that until they actually show us it. But it needs the same because I do like the art here. If there's one thing I'm kind of concerned about, it's the left hand. What do I mean by that? Well, they, they, because come on typically does flat minis, which they have some sweet mounted ones, but for the normal ones, they kind of don't know what to do. So like they have, um, I, I believe the exact same hand just at a different pose here, right? It's like, what, what do I do with this thing? I, I don't know. Anyway, it's just kind of funny. Um, and, and once you see it, I, I, I struggle to unsee it, but whatever. Um, still excited. I love one versus many and come on, did a great job with rise of Moloch. I really enjoyed their one versus many there. So I'm hoping I'll enjoy this one too. Definitely excited for it. Uh, awkward left hand, not knowing what to do with the side. Uh, definitely, definitely good. And that should be here pretty soon. And there's a link down to all this below. Next up we have the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, the board game. This is by Modifius. They did a great job. I felt on the uh, Fallout and Skyrim tabletop game. Uh, it's actually really good. It's kind of a board gamey tabletop game. There's a lot more tokens involved and stuff like that. Really, really actually enjoy it. I think it uh, is quite well and captures the IP well. So they definitely get what makes the game good. And they were talking about this in their latest update. They've done three dev updates. And the latest one they're talking about is kind of the tutorial. And it reminded me a lot of the tutorials in the Elder Scrolls thing, where it's kind of like hands-on and kind of puts you through the motions. You get some story stuff. You learn some different things, right? Um, if you played Fallout, it's like getting your first B be gun kind of thing um and then it kind of unleashes you and i it sounds like they're really really being smart about it so that's kind of cool you also get some added benefit of being able to use the minis in either game that they do stuff like that needless to say super excited about this one as well and i can't wait to learn more about it i will try to get some coverage of this for you guys have been in contact with modivius before i'm hoping to kind of show off some gameplay if i can digitally uh, so that you guys can really see what this is all about. I can let you know my feelings on it. Um, so yeah, super excited about that. Next up, Mortal Kombat, the miniatures game. I don't know if this will be this year or not, but there's definitely enough time, right? There's still several months and they're rounding out the fulfillment of Street Fighter, um, kind of as we speak. It was definitely a, you know, some fulfillment can go really quick and then some like, it's like, well, the ship comes here, here and there. It's in customs there and it's, it's held up in this canal there. 
and Egypt's back to you know like like it, it can last months too and they're definitely in that for sure they're they're having some trouble getting it to people but it is coming to people it's to a lot of people already I've already played the Street Fighter one I do like it I'll plan on doing a speed review for you guys um, but excited to see the Mortal Kombat I'm definitely more into Mortal Kombat than I am Street Fighter so the IP excites me and I already know I like the game so I'm definitely excited for that my kids love playing Street Fighter with me too uh, definitely a fun one uh, so definitely definitely interested in a Mortal Kombat one looks good and so here's kind of the, what what will probably be the the art there and then we also have a boss expansion at least one here as well so expect lots of cool characters it's going to be really cool i can't wait to hear what they do with like fatalities and stuff like that going to be awesome if it's not this year i'm assuming it's early next year um but it still might slip in kind of end of q4 2021 i can definitely see them launching the campaign for it and then of course we can get it next year or the year after or whenever it comes but yeah excited about that next up harakiri uh this is Super, super cool. Uh, the more I hear about it, the more I like it. I really love the style. I actually awarded this my favorite uh, box art uh, recently in my Discord. We were talking about box art, and I instantly leaned to this because if, if you filled a board game wall where I could see every cover of every game that I own plus this, I would go to this instantly. Instantly. I would like be like, what the heck? I want, I want to be that guy and I want to fight that guy. And of course, I, you know, the logo's got a nice dark red. It stands out really good with like the blade, uh, kind of, uh, uh text here and stuff like that. Really just, I like it. And it, the, pretty much everything about this screams cool to me. So definitely talks to me. And again, looks pretty cool too. I've covered it several times before. So if you've watched the channel, you guys kind of know a little bit more about Harakiri. I've even done an interview with them and they've kind of talked about it. Sounds cool. Definitely interested in the, um, the namesake of it and what that means gameplay wise. All right, next up Celestial. Look at that, a new logo. Here's why I put this in possibly 2021 and not 2022 because they already updated the logo. If you recall, there was an old logo. Now they have a new logo. And they talked about Social 2021 just a few months ago while showing Hips miniatures of versions of the, the mini. So here is like a, a new one. I actually painted her. Um, I don't have one. She, she's right over there. I, hold on. All right. So apologies. This is an older painting and I'm not the best painter ever, but as you can see, painted her, really enjoyed it. Uh, her DNA little strand thing broke, uh, but it's uh it's resin and hollow whereas this hips would be a lot stronger a little bit more resilient and it's not hollow and then actually i have this painting up i'm not going to show you too much but there you go um that'll be coming up on the channel here soon too and there's plenty more there's a guy like riding this like weird eggshell thing and he's got a stuff crazy crazy universe really really cool and my understanding is this place kind of like an rts think like starcraft kind of thing or like a, a a warcraft 3 kind of deal where you have like your hero units and then your troops as you're kind of going around and skirmishing and stuff like that and the lore on it is really crazy they, they joke it's like game of thrones but it's a lot of political stuff a lot of backstabbing a lot of interesting stuff like that uh, profits and all sorts of cool stuff they got a crazy world they're all based on kind of like chinese lore it's my understanding as well so definitely interested in celestial as well and i hope we see it this the, at least the end of this year so that's five campaigns i'm definitely looking forward to what are yours i would love to hear what you guys are looking at even if if, if it's something i've covered before if it's not something covered give me an order as well i don't necessarily have this in order um so though i think Celestial is probably the top one I'm looking forward to. It's in a loose order, I think, just about. Um, but really, really interested to hear what you guys have to say because you guys are on top of things and you guys have some cool, cool games up your sleeves. I know you do. So feel free to share those around. Love to hear from it. And again, if you appreciated this video, if you just enjoyed it, gave you a little bit of entertainment for your day, then the better for it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys again real soon.